Hala everyone. We are dealing with the examination questions that were given in the national level medical entrance examination in India happened on May 1st and uh, 2016. This question here is regarding the photoelectric effect. It is given in a problem that when a metallic surface is illuminated by a radiation of certain wavelength, some stopping potential is appeared. If the same surface is illuminated by a different wavelength, some different stopping potential is there. Then what is the threshold wavelength is? Probably, you know, threshold wavelength is the maximum uh, wavelength. Correspondingly, threshold frequency is the minimum frequency for the emission of the photoelectric effect to happen. We know, according to Einstein's uh, photoelectric concept, the energy of a photon is used like a work function and a kinetic energy. We also know that the kinetic energy is nothing but equal to half mv square. It is completely stopped by stopping potential when it is applied in the reverse direction. So kinetic energy can be equated to the energy that corresponds to stopping potential. Then we can write an equation energy equal to work function plus energy corresponds to stopping potential. Energy could be written like h nu, work function could be written like h nu naught, where nu naught is called as threshold frequency. As you want in terms of the wavelength, nu can be written like c by lambda, hc by lambda naught and ev naught. That is the first case when the wavelength lambda is there. Suppose the incident wavelength equal to 2 lambda as it is given in the problem, we can write a formula hc by 2 lambda, the threshold wavelength is not going to change depending on the frequency of the incident light and he said the stopping potential is different. In this case, its value equal to v naught by 4. Let me call this as equation number 2, then uh, we can rearrange the terms. So, we can write hc of 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught as z v naught from the first equation h c of 1 by 2 lambda minus 1 by lambda naught as e v naught by 4 from the second equation. Dividing these two equations will further give you 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught by 1 by 2 lambda minus 1 by lambda naught equal to ev naught by ev naught by 4 that is nothing but equal to 4 itself. So, if you simplify this equation further lambda naught minus lambda by lambda and lambda naught by lambda naught minus 2 lambda by 2 lambda and lambda naught is equal to 4. By simplifying this further we can get a equation as we can cancel this uh, lambda naughts and lambda naughts then what is remaining is going to be equal to 2 of lambda naught minus lambda by lambda naught minus 2 lambda is equal to 4 by cross multiplying we can get 4 lambda naught minus 8 lambda equal to 2 lambda naught minus 2 lambda. Therefore, it will be like 4 lambda naught minus 2 lambda naught equal to minus 2 lambda plus 8 lambda. So, it is going to be 2 lambda naught equal to 6 lambda that implies lambda naught equal to 3 lambda. Therefore, the threshold wavelength of the given scenario is 3 times of the initial wavelength and hence 3 lambda is the answer for the problem. Thank you for watching.